All right, here's the newest member of our fleet. This is a 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3 XRS Turbo RR with Smart Shocks. Wanted to give a little overview of the enhancements made to the 2022 Turbo RRs. Uh, the first off is the power's been bumped up to uh, 200 horsepower um, with new engine calibration. The uh, next upgrade is uh, to the clutch. All the Turbo RRs have been upgraded to the new P-Drive clutch system. Uh, this has been used in Ski-Doo snowmobiles since 2017. Um, faster acceleration, deceleration, uh, less noise and vibration, and it uses rollers instead of ramps to uh, reduce friction, extend your um, service periods, um, and really the, the noise uh, difference is uh, definitely noticeable. Um, as long as we're on the back here, um, the rear knuckles all have a double shear on the toe link. Um, the rear radius rod has been uh, beefed up and the uh, radius plate has also been uh, beefed up thicker material and it actually attaches uh, up top and uh, down below as well. So it's uh, held in place with, in more, more spots uh, to give it more rigidity and, and uh, strength back there. The uh, whole chassis and uh, roll cage have been uh, reinforced. It's a 30% uh, thicker material with 13% um, more torsional rigidity than uh, 2021. So definitely more stout frame. But the front of the vehicle, the uh, lower A arms on the uh, 72 inch wide XRSs have uh, all been upgraded. Um, more beefy material in there. Um, so they can take a, a, a little bit more of a hit. Tire size has been beefed up to uh, 32 inch. They're a Maxxis Carnivore, same size front and rear, which is nice. So a spare will fit all four corners. So one other uh, upgrade on the dash, if you uh, use the menu button, you can cycle through um, your settings. So you can have RPM, speed, engine temp. New one is belt and engine temp. So on the left-hand side there is belt temp, right-hand side is engine temp. So that's pretty cool to monitor your uh, belt statistics and uh, let you decide what to do speed wise and, and how you're driving you can actually see it right there how it's affecting your belt temperatures